it's Fiona from Trim Tab Tao here. Um, and for those of you who don't know, the Trim Tab Tao name comes from a trim tab, which is a small lever on a rudder that uses nature in a way, it uses nature counterintuitively to move a big object like a boat or a plane through the water or through the air. And it's one of the things that I'm always looking for as a life coach, as a teacher, as a massage therapist, is those little things that we can do and that are often counterintuitive that have a big impact and a big effect on change in our life. So that's the trim tab. And Tao represents the flow of life. It's that ocean, that interconnectedness of the power of life. So that's what the name is all about. And today I'm here to invite you to my free information session next week about nutritious forgiveness. It's a topic that has come up from our practical Ayurvedic sessions in December. And towards the end, we talked about Pitta and Pitta balancing. And forgiveness is one of the golden keys, the golden heart keys for Pitta to really harness the power of Pitta and to move forward easily and effectively achieving what you desire and helping others. It unlocks your compassion and generosity. So it's a huge lever, a huge trim tab for us. Um, and there were lots of questions about, well, how do you actually do it? Like, I know I've got uh, hurts and pains that are costing me energy, and I know I'm supposed to forgive, but how do I actually do that? Um, and it's become quite a burning topic on the message board as well. So, so it's time to talk about nutritious forgiveness. And I'm choosing that title uh, because I, uh, Julie's doing nutritious movement right now. So it's reminded me of this word. And I want to remind you that forgiveness is nourishing for you. It's for ourselves that we have a forgiveness practice and the liberation that you're going to feel when you change that paradigm uh, is enormous. It's going to it's going to ripple through your whole life. So I'm offering an information session um, this week. The details will be posted here, and uh, I'm really looking to find those people who are ready to make the changes in their lives around this practice of forgiveness. So I'm looking for those of you who are feeling the pinch, who are feeling the rub of where that holding back or holding on is costing you in your life. And that's what the information session is going to be about. It's going to be about the true cost of not forgiving. And we're going to look at lots of perspectives around forgiveness. We're going to share a little bit of our stories, the things that we're holding on to that is causing us pain. And then we're going to go through a coaching exercise to identify the real cost of that in our lives and to see whether you are ready to make that commitment, to make that investment in yourself in terms of money and time and energy to push through this paradigm and enter into a whole new and powerful way of experiencing being Pitta and being alive. So in the Vedic tradition, we don't have that kind of tolerance for non-forgiveness that we have here in the West, that you can even have people tell you, you know, of course, you know, you shouldn't forgive them. That was wrong. That was terrible. And, you know, only forgive them if they say sorry, if they realize what they've done. Um, in From the Vedic perspective, we don't have that indulgence for non-forgiving. We would see non-forgiving as being really toxic. And I guess it would be a little bit like that way that we feel about sugar now, you know, how we see it as being so toxic. We never encourage you to have more sugar, right? Um, and that's, that's the non-forgiveness thing. Never encourage that non-forgiveness. So part of this nutritious forgiveness, if you do decide to join the program, it's going to be a little bit like The Biggest Loser. You know, I'm going to be a little bit like Jillian Michael sometimes, really shaking you and getting you to face those behaviors that are causing, you know, this obesity of suffering, this indulgence that is allowing this heaviness, this deadness to stay in your life, to leave you trapped and locked into something with this broken, aching wound um, trying to be protected by all this obesity. Uh, so it's going to be a workout. And if you do decide to go forward with the program, we're looking at a weekly uh, class where we'll be examining both the paradigm shift that's required to really embrace forgiveness 
um, and we'll be looking at that from lots of different perspectives uh, and really, really agitating the intellect to get on board with what life is all about. And we'll also be doing those emotional uh, work that needs to be done to listen to the pain and to the hurt and to receive that and digest it. And I'm here and we're all here in the group to help each other do that. And it will also involve uh, one monthly face-to-face -face coaching session with me and a weekday meditation every morning. So it's a complete package. I'm really, I want to throw the goal out there for you of forgiveness by Easter. So if you are trapped, if you are feeling the rub, if you are feeling the shame, the hurt of uh, holding on to this thing that you're not forgiving and you can't embrace life fully because of this pain, because of something that went wrong and that is costing you and you feel it, I want you to come and tell me all about it. And if you can show me that you're ready to do the work, that it's, it's so painful to be where you are, that you would rather do the work, then sign you up. Let's go ahead. So look for the details here and sign up for my information session and find all about the program. I'm really looking forward to working with you. This changed my life completely. This changed who I am and made me love being alive and love who I am. Um, and it was a gift that I was just withholding from myself because of this non-forgiving culture that we have and that I'd grown up in. So I look forward to sharing all of that with you and hearing from you soon.